Hello everyone, it has been a while. I hope you are doing all okay. If you recall, I took some time off in the last video. I took about two weeks off to focus on myself really. I struggled with burnout and I had a big lack of inspiration to work on any games. But once June came, I, it worked. I was raring to go and ready to get back into games development. And I thought, what could I do? I want something that's new. I don't really want to work on Chrono right now. No inspiration for that still. So I thought now is a great time to learn C++, a programming language that's going to benefit me in the future and me now. So that's what I've been doing. So for the past few weeks, I've been learning C++ using a course I got from Udemy, which I'll link down below because it's such a good course. I was able to make five games with it. And in this video, we're going to talk about those games and we're going to talk about what's coming to the channel next. If you're more interested in that, there will be a little timestamp on the screen now telling you where to go so you can just hear about what's coming next. As just so you know, it's a pretty good thing. So what did I do first? Well obviously I went on to Udemy and started the course by Game Dev TV. This course I would highly recommend, it's about 31 hours but I tend to watch courses on about one and a half times speed, just because I find them a little bit slow on normal speed. I'll obviously slow it down and speed up where I need to. And whilst I was doing it I had a page of notes, and not just a page, I had about 32 pages in the end worth of notes on C++ and little things I needed to know. The course was specified for C++ and Unreal Engine and I already know Unreal Engine and Blueprint. So I thought that'd be quite good to go into that, and it was, because I was able to just speed past some of the bits we're just talking about more Unreal things in general. Obviously there are some things that I learned in Unreal, which I'll get into, and I was really glad I learned them, I've been meaning to. But the C++ side of things in Unreal is so good to know, I feel really confident now that I know it, and I feel like when I'm looking for a job in the future, this will help me a lot. And also, I'd like to clarify, this video is not sponsored or anything. I mean, if they want to sponsor me at some point, I will happily take it. It's not, it's not sponsored. This is my personal opinion on it. And yes, I would recommend it. So the first game we're talking about is Triple X, a number hacking game, which was based in VS Code, not in Unreal. Basically, you get random combinations of code and you have to guess the right numbers. And each time you get a combination right, you get a harder combination in the next level. And you do this until you reach the end. The game has about five levels in it. And obviously, each one gets harder and harder. You get clues as to what the numbers are, don't get me wrong, and it'll say like how many numbers there are, what they multiply to and what they add to. In my version of the game, I started off where you have four numbers in the very first level, because each level is like a time zone and you're trying to get to different time zones. And it does increase and get harder as you go on. You have about three lives per level, which is something I added in and they didn't have on theirs, just because I thought it was a little bit more interesting to have that. And don't get me wrong, it is a difficult game. But it was also a very good introduction for me to C++ as I learned to do without an engine I could just focus more on the code. It wasn't exactly what I was looking for as I did want to go into engine but this you have to start with the basics and this was the, definitely the basics. The next game that was made was Bulls and Cows, another word guessing game similar to Triple X. But this was done in Unreal. This was a good project despite being a little bit basic and having most of it just pre-made for you. I think you make one code file in it and that's it. And it was still good, don't get me wrong, but still a little bit basic. In this game, you have to guess a word of X number of characters and it can't have any repeating characters, or it has to be an isogram. Every time you get a letter correct, you get a cow. If you get the position of that letter correct, you get a bull. And that's basically the game. You just have to guess a random word from a list which you implement, and that's it. You just have to try and get it right. But there are lives as well. And I thought I'd take it a little bit further and added it in, so when you have one life remaining, you get a random character of the word being revealed. This section was a good introduction to C++ and Unreal, don't get me wrong. The next three sections though were where things really started to get fun. The next more like proper game we got into was Building Escape. This is a section I was looking forward to as it was more or less an escape room type of game, but everything was made by us. And it really pushed my understanding of the language and taught me more about Unreal actually such as using Unreal's geometry, which is basically how you make custom meshes really quickly. Think of like, I think it's World Builder in Unity, that asset, it's similar to that. In the end, a game is made about where you can pick up an object and put it on a pressure plate to open the door. The door needs to have a certain weight applied to the pressure plate, so we added weight to the object, which is a really interesting thing to learn about adding custom components which hold the weight. And as always, I added an extra challenge to the game where one door needs a key to open it. So basically you find a key and rather than the pressure plate being weight, it's an object requirement, so, which was quite fun to do. Toon Tanks was the next section I did on the course and it actually seemed to cause some controversy within the course itself due to people complaining it was a bit rushed and it had a different instructor. I however found it okay. The goal was to create a short but polished jam-like game where you control a tank and win by destroying turrets. I found it rather fun to make, and I learnt a lot more about C++ and making actual games with it. 
Some of the elements were rushed and not very well explained, but this was solved in the next section. But if you just got down with it, it was actually quite fun. The assets which were given to you were very cute to use, and it was just a fun little jam-like game as the instructor wanted you to make. As you know, I like adding my own things. So I did a health UI widget into the game just so you can see how much health you're on. I added health pickups, and then I also added in a slowdown effect. So when you're on low health, uh, the game slows down and goes into like a bullet speed type of mode. And it just feels quite cool to play around with, honestly. The final section was a simple shooter. A third person shooter game and wow, what a section. I learned a lot about C++ and Unreal itself, even in learning stuff about the engines that I've been wanting to know for a while, such as animations and AI. A lot of which is easier to do with C++ rather than just solely in Blueprint. Who would have guessed? Probably a lot of Unreal devs. This section was a lot of fun to do, it didn't feel like it took too long, and when it was finished it just felt so satisfying to see it all come together. So I did add some things to this section because they gave a list of extras you could add, so I added a few of them. I added an ammo count to the weapons, and you need to reload which was quite fun to do, and I set it up so the AI also knows when to reload, as they reload when they either run out of ammo or when they've lost sight of the player. I also added weapon switching, and basically you press one button and it will switch through the different weapons you have on your character. And it just feels good to see it all together to be honest. It was really cool to have made a third person game I must say because it just feels so like official if you know what I mean. Does that make sense? I hope it does. And this brings us to the end of the video. I bet you're wondering what's coming next to the channel. Well I'm happy to announce that we are making a series of short games all made in Unreal and C++. Woo. <laughs> um. Each short game will be a simple but a polished mechanic, and I'm hoping to have them all in one game and then release that, which you can all just play and mess around with the different mechanics. Each mechanic that gets added will be added to each and released so you can all play it, and then we'll update it with the next mechanic on it. And this is done for two reasons. One, I want to be able to give more stuff for you to be able to play and mess around with, and two, I want more stuff for my portfolio. Specifically done in C++ because that looks good for me. So far, I have two-ish planned mechanics you'll see what i mean of sex so without further ado let's go into them number one is from super hot time only moves when you move or some variation of that mechanic super hot's one of my favorite games and i love the mechanic behind it i think it'd be really cool if we could do a shooter or something similar like that where time only moves when you move or we have a time toggle so you can stop time for a series of seconds and then time resumes we'll see maybe we'll do both if we can next is portals from portal 2 and other games with portals Portals are just generally a cool thing to see in games. For a uni assignment, I actually made a portal mechanic in Blueprint, and I want to do one in C++. I did find a good tutorial online, but when I first attempted it, I had no knowledge of C++, so that was a really bad idea. I'm going to try it again, and we'll see what we get. I'm not necessarily going to make a portal gun, but if I can make a portal gun, we'll make a portal gun, you know? The One of the key things I want with these portals is I want anything to be able to walk through them, not just the player, which could include enemies and objects. So we'll see how that goes and hopefully we'll be able to get it done. <laughs> then, the final mechanic, and this is what I meant for two in a bit. The final mechanic is one I want you to decide. I want you, from now, to comment on these videos and tell me different mechanics that you've got ideas for. Hopefully someone's ones that are simple and could be made in a two week time frame. So that I can implement them into the project. And I'm going to pick my favourite one or favourite ones. Who knows how long this series will go on for. I just want to, this is what I want to do from now on on the channel for at least for a while anyway. Before we get back onto an, like a game myself. I want to work on short mechanics which I can release for all of you to play. And have on my portfolio so it looks good. So please comment down below mechanics you'd like to see. And who knows maybe it will get picked. The mechanics above may also change by the way just depending on my actual skill level because right now I'm probably thinking oh yes I'm the best ever when I'm really not. We'll just have to see how it goes. Thank you all so much for watching. It's really good to be back honestly. I have missed doing all this and plus we're getting pretty close to 500 subs so you know it's pretty cool to be back at this time. Till the next video I hope you're all staying safe and well. Thank you for watching and goodbye.